And that's the same thing with the guys who hate on the crossbows. Say, well, that's too easy. It's it's to same to your same point. Now you're dictating what I should and shouldn't do based off of. Well, you should you should have a permanent disability to be able to use a crossbow. I would, but when a person says that to me, I would provide them one. You know? There, you can't talk for a week. <laughs> <laughs> you can use a crossbow now. That's, but but that kind of stuff, uh, which is why we are blood brothers, and believe me, we're not alone. And the the I, as we identify, the embarrassment of a lunatic fringe who thinks in such a selfish, and mindless way. They really are a lunatic fringe. They're they're not the pulse of our sport. I'm afraid the fringe is more than a hiccup. It might be a a guttural belch at this point because we run into it. What sort of human being we go? We need to ban lighted knocks in this area. Really? What role does a lighted knock play in harvesting an animal? A lighted knock helps you identify the shot after it's taken and maybe find your arrow after the shot. How about in Montana, the great ranching freedom state, big sky Montana, somebody came up with a law forbidding a private landowner, a private rancher, from putting up trail cameras on their own ranch after the season starts. So- Ban shed hunting. Ban shed hunting. <laughs> so, so, I used the term, I think it was way back in the 70s, one of the first articles I wrote that caused a big stir. Truth, logic, and common sense seems to cause big stirs. And I would question this kind of stuff. And they would call me a radical for questioning how a, what man can tell a free man he can't strap a camera to a tree. What does that have to do with safety or science? Zero. So we need to... We need to fight and we are fighting we succeeded recently in georgia in georgia you could you could bait in half the state but not the other half well if there's a reason to ban baiting anywhere then it would have to apply everywhere and of course it's arbitrary it's not founded in science so we pushed we got the whole state where you feed and bait louisiana legalized feed and bait alabama finally feed so if those dedicated biologists are examining the subject and researching it, coming to the conclusion that it's good for supplementing the support of our wildlife. What biologists at the Illinois DNR, the Michigan DNR, what, do, what information are they privy to that Georgia, Louisiana, South Carolina, Kentucky, Kansas, Ohio, North Dakota, Nebraska, all these states where you can feed and bait deer, is there or is there not whitetail biology? And I'll answer that question myself. Of course there is. There's not whitetail biology in North Dakota and then a different whitetail biology in South Dakota. It's the same biology. This is all political correctness, abuse of power, and people who are either clueless or just dishonest, dictating arbitrary, punitive, and I believe capricious, and highly detrimental regulations to the conservation lifestyle, the wise use of God's precious renewable resources to maximize their value and maximize their recreating of the spirit of the families who participate.